to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Of meeting very successful people, successful in business, successful in ministry, successful career-wise, and as God grants me the privilege to sit with them and talk with them, usually I want to ask, tell me your story. And there are certain points lines in those stories I'm looking for. I connect the beginning of their lives and I want to know at what point mercy came in. Some of those who were recipients of that mercy did not even know when mercy came in. They only know when brokenness came. They will tell you, I got to a point where I lost, I failed, and I cried all through the night. Aha! Uh -huh. From that time, they will say, I found a message. From that time, they will say, I went for a meeting. They did not know that from that time, it was mercy that took them. Please listen very careful. You can know when you are on a flight of mercy, the result will be clear. I wish I had the time I would have shown you from Luke 15, from verse 11, the story of the prodigal son. Theologically speaking, this is the greatest expression from uh, the standpoint of parables, the greatest expression of God's mercy. You know why? Because it's a very comprehensive parable. It shows a family from the beginning, the original plan. Then it shows the rebellion of a young man and it shows the consequences so it starts with a father that had two sons follow the story carefully and it says that the father was a blessed and benevolent man and provided the sons were under his care they were comfortable there was no mention of lack and limitation the bible says one day i'm rushing because of time one day the younger son met his father and said father i am tired of dependence on you you see the problem now I, I have come to a point where I think I am smart and I am adult enough. I do not need your influence in my life. I am tired of giving you the glory behind the results that happen to me. It's, it's, it's a thing of embarrassment before my friends. Give me something, my portion of the inheritance and let me leave. And the father said, are you sure? He said, yes. He said, go. From the time he came out of the influence of his father, lack began notice the gradual degradation that happened to that child the bible says he went and met his friends and he began to spend the money on riotous living then the bible says in verse 14 that in the course of time he spent everything is it in your bible and he began to be in want i like the word began meaning it was not his prior experience he began to be in want and he kept going down and down and down until he got to a point where he was feeding with pigs please follow this in your imagination once royalty having access to everything because of one foolish decision that was a communication of rebellion and pride father I do not want your influence in my life i discovered that i am i think i'm an adult enough you see in the realm of the spirit you measure spiritual maturity by your degree of dependence in the physical realm the more matured an adult you are we know you are an adult by your detaching from authorities around your life reverse is the case in the realm of the spirit that the more dependent you are the more matured you are because you have now realized that outside of the help and the mercy of God, I cannot amount to much. This young boy would be learning a very painful 
and powerful lesson here's what the bible says that he got to a point where he came to himself please look for that scripture for us it is within the power of man to come to himself the bible never said the holy ghost spoke to him the bible never said a demon threatened him do you know let me tell you this please look up you may not believe me but hear this there is a dimension of pain that is a gift let me repeat it again there is a dimension of pain that is a gift pain can be an advisor pain can be a counselor so there are times that when you see people going through certain levels of pain you will want to help them but you see god will prohibit you because god will say i've been working with this man for two years i'm i'm now at the moment where their strength has failed allow this pain to culture them into brokenness and repentance don't try to help people god is not helping you may be destroying his program is someone learning very powerful lesson it had to take pain to bring this boy to his senses he came to himself the pride that came with the availability of resources did not allow him to have a, 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 a time of counseling to think what am I doing with my life but now pain had brought him to that point let's listen to his contemplations he came to himself and said how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger here's what he said next verse i will arise hallelujah something has happened to that gentleman i'm praying for you may this happen for you because there are many of you who have in reality taken god out of your life you replaced him with over dependence on intellect over dependence on business ideas over dependence on human connections i'm not saying those things are wrong but my bible already says trust in the lord with all your heart that is the reason why you see some people when you are clapping for them they roll on the floor because they know that there is a part of this equation you cannot see i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say unto him listen carefully hear the voice of brokenness father i have sinned against heaven and before thee is someone following and i am no more worthy to be called your son this is not condemnation this is revelation his true state had now been revealed to him he says make me as one of your hired servants and he arose and he came to his father look at the miracle the bible says the gentleman said i will arise and i will go to my father he would have remained there and say it's just a blind thought he would have died there i assure you that hunger was already about to kill him he said i would die with hunger but the bible says indeed he arose notice this the moment he arose and started moving the father too left home and started coming he said draw nigh to me and i will i will not come and meet you in your rot and your situation there you cannot help yourself but acknowledge the fact that you are limited the moment you satisfy the condition of brokenness you are ready for mercy listen do you know why i'm teaching you this many of us here are leaders you must also find this in the people you show mercy to forgiveness is useless until there is brokenness and repentance anybody who is in need of mercy the role that he has to play in receiving that mercy is to be broken first to realize and to acknowledge when you help people who are not broken you endorse their pride when you help people who are not broken you accelerate their journey to perdition and destruction are we together it is the reason why when we make altar calls sometimes we ask people to come out we is not to embarrass them leaving your seat and defying the shame leaving your colleagues and your loved ones and coming to stand there is a token is an expression of your brokenness 
Are we together? Unfortunately, these days, there are people who come and stand here and still are not saved. When you look at them, you don't see brokenness. They are even still standing and recording the preacher. All they want is just a, a photo of his, of his picture. While a powerful prayer of salvation is going on. Lord Jesus and the person is just recording. But the only thing he says in that prayer is amen. You are not saved, sir. No, sir. Except scripture will be broken. The Bible says if you will confess with your heart. Are we Bible students? The Lord Jesus and believe, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead. He says then you are saved. Brokenness. Now let's see what happened. The Bible says he arose and he came to his father. But when he was a great way off, his father saw him and had. You see our formula again. What was the first thing the father had? I told you mercy is the fruit of compassion. You cannot have and show mercy until it, there is first compassion. Pity. This young man is limited. He is frail. And the Bible says, he ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. 21, very interesting verse. And the son truly said what he said he would say. If the son did not say this, if verse 21 was not in that scripture, we will know he's a hypocrite. He said he was going to say it. And when he met his father, he truly said it. Father, I have sinned against heaven. And in thy sight, I am no more worthy to be called your son. Next verse. But the father said to his servants, look at the father. This describes the character of God. The moment the father found brokenness, there was no discussion of the issue again. It was over. This is the, I, I want to show you how mercy works now. There is no point discussing the issue. What I am looking for, I have found. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because you see, men will not forget your past. Men will not forget your yesterday. Even when you have become Paul, they will keep reminding you of when you were Saul. Jesus died, I agree, but how long did he die? He only died for three days. When he was now resurrected, they were still talking about the dead Jesus. Like many people will still be talking about your 10 years ago. They will say, Rahab, the great grandmother of Jesus, is it the Rahab I used to know? But the prodigal son's father showed us the character of God. The moment he finds brokenness, the end of discussion to that limitation. No more discussion. He would have said, what a stupid boy you are. So this is what you have become. You could not even leave anything. At least the man with one talent even brought back the talent. What? You didn't bring back anything. And then they will beg him and beg him and later he say, alright, mm -mm, that's not God. Remember, the Lord is gracious and compassionate. That's why I started by showing you the nature of God. Listen, if you do not understand the nature of god you cannot express that character of god to those who are under you because you see the end of this discussion i'll leave that for tomorrow the moment you receive mercy you must one day be in the position of this father too every one of us in this story will be both the father and the son are, are you getting my discussion some of you for now you are like the son you need to come back. But for some of you, as leaders, you are that father. There are people who are long overdue for mercy. They have been broken. That case has to be over. Hmm. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Listen, the Bible tells us there were two thieves on the cross. Is that in your Bible? Jesus was in the middle of two thieves. I wish I had time. I would have taught you that the cross is where both good and bad people meet. <laughs> you will think because you are Jesus, the cross will not be there. 
the cross and the prison are two mysterious places because no matter who you are you must pass through the prison or the cross it is not you don't have a choice to exempt it you only have a choice to choose whether it's the cross or the prison these are two mysterious places in life and destiny they forrun every throne the prison forruns the throne and the cross forruns the throne joseph you must pass through the prison to sit as prime minister jesus not even you will be spared of the cross can i tell you this this is not my message but i just thought to digress for one minute because some of you are right now you are in states where you do not even know lord how come the righteous and the unrighteous are in the same condition remember the prison and remember the cross jesus was hanging on that cross and there were two thieves by his side and one was open and he began to shout at jesus in his pride even while on the cross these were thieves so they both stole and the other one was shouting at jesus you can't even save us and then the other one demonstrated brokenness he said mr man this is an innocent man in between us paraphrasing we are victims of our wrongs and jesus looked at him even on the cross he did not ignore brokenness he says today you will be with me it is a both of you today because there is brokenness you will be with me in paradise hallelujah when i learned the mercy of god perpetually this is not self-condemnation but let me tell you the truth every time i go to god in prayer i go to him and i say father there are so many people who depend on this grace and you know if i am left to myself i cannot even help myself talk less helping other people i ask that by your mercy and by your grace you will help this man who is so limited and inadequate that is the kind of prayer god wants to hear and he will come to you and pick you on the wings of eagles and your life will command results and dimensions of possibilities that will dumbfound you and everybody around you but when they add you up you don't equal that answer because the mercy of god is the mystery behind your results please listen to me this is a very powerful message the mercy of god I have seen the mercy of God in my life. I have seen the mercy of God in ministry. When people come and ask me what is the secret, I can only tell them the best that I know, but then leave them with the fact that everything I told you is not the whole answer. There is a part of this answer I don't have the power to give. I will have to direct you like an usher to the one who can show men mercy. I have seen families where the man and the woman are well cultured disciplined parents and all four children became hooligans all four of them have you seen that happen respectfully speaking lawless children you can't say the children were not trained they fasted with the parents they did night vigils and the children still became what they became and yet i have seen children where the child can leave home for two weeks and return back the third week the mother can see the child five times in a year and the child is in that city and one day the child will be moving somewhere and enter into one conference and the power of god will hit that child the next time the child returns he's a well cultured stable young man on fire and the mother and the parents have no hand in the transformation of that child someone shout mercy I have seen diligent people trusting God to raise money and build and doing their best and the moment they are building they have a problem with maybe some government and they can come and demolish that building and I've seen people who in their innocence someone would just say I like you and I want to help you look let me tell you this you never downplay the power of God's mercy 
Hallelujah. Even in my own life, sincerely and respectfully speaking, I will tell you, there are times, maybe because of my schedules, and sometimes I'm not able to see people and minister to them as I would want to. And then in the midst of all that crowd, you see people who fly in all over the world and they are standing, doing their best. And I can turn somewhere and you can see a little boy and the mother somewhere. Someone just held them and said, I can help you see apostle. And they are standing there and I'm saying, my God, look at the mercy of God. The ability to pardon an offender and the ability to add up for the inadequacies of the other everyone seated here and you who uh, is following from television or across the globe we are all in need of God's mercy there are people during this pandemic and all through it was their wealthiest moment they were sitting quietly and fortune just came and met them like an arm robber and changed their lives completely there are others who for decades they had a track record of diligence and in one year they were brought down to nothing someone again shout mercy, mercy. your mind is fighting what you are saying and say remember your skill is there shout mercy again mercy. let your mind and your spirit know that beyond skill and beyond human connection Except the Lord builds a house. Is it not in your Bible that they labor in vain that build it? Except the Lord watches over the city. I will never forget a time, true story, years ago, a woman came to me, PhD. She was applying for a security work at a, um, I, I mean it, jet PhD from a university never been employed i said what is this applying for security security i, I, I think it was an oil and gas firm sincerely i stand before god i'm telling you this phd ah may you your grace your grace i'm nothing without you your grace your grace shines on me are you crying before the god of heaven your grace your grace I'm nothing without you. Your grace, your grace shines on me. Please make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Take your eyes away from the limitations look unto the god of mercy who can visit men and turn their lives around someone is praying foundations of sapphire are you praying king's court are you praying you are praying this for your family bring your family in this prayer bring your children in this prayer your business your ministry
are here turning lights around I worship you I worship you you are here mending broken hearts I worship you I worship you way make a miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness that is who you are we call you way make a miracle Covenant and keeping God You are the covenant and keeping God Yahweh Yahweh the covenant and keeping God Yahweh the covenant and keeping God In the name of Jesus the sun, ah, I sense such an anointing in this place. My God, my God, my God. Do you know what I'm seeing in the spirit? I want you to write it down. I'm just seeing doors opening. Honestly, I stand by the God of heaven. Very strange doors opening. This is what I'm seeing. Some of you, you didn't even expect it. Some of you, is this week that is coming. We're not talking of something that is in the distance. Doors opening. Hear me. I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. And an elder tapped me and he said, Weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, is worthy. It says, and I looked upon the throne and I saw a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven eyes and seven horns. Father, I bow my knees to you, O God of my covenant, and I declare, I speak to you. These Egyptians you see today, Parasko Pakatopiata. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Hear me. Every blessing comes from God through men to men. From God through men to men. There are times that God says yes. But the human vessel who should partner with God for your testimony is not ready. Let me call them by prophecy. Anybody, whether in Lagos, in Nigeria, or across the globe, who has been anointed and mandated to partner with prophecy and has not responded to the voice of the Spirit, right now we compel them to partner with God. Hear me every door that has been closed over your destiny for a long time because I'm, I'm i'm seeing doors i'm still telling you i'm i'm seeing listen do you know what a door is a door is a device that midwives two rooms or two rams doors are the provisions that connect seasons midwifing one season to the other is a door and if that door is closed, a season cannot come to an end for another one to open. Let me pray again. Anybody who is standing at the door and that door that opens you to the next season has refused to open by the power of the Holy Spirit. We open that door now. We open that door now. We open that door now. 
we open that door now I honor you in Jesus name I pray dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.